everybody and welcome to Akshita's recipes. Thank you so much for stopping by. It is really a delight and it's something which is very simple to make. And so uh, it's a super simple recipe like I said and uh, the end result is simply delicious. So let's just dive straight into today's recipe and today's video. So let's start with today's lovely Goan sweet recipe, Tizan. So now these are the ingredients. As you can see, just three ingredients. Now here I'm taking about one cup of coconut milk. Now you can extract fresh coconut milk. I have just used some powder coconut and put it in some hot water. This is three fourth of a cup of goa chogri, which I've grated. We're going to use a pinch of salt. This is about half cup of natsni flour or ragi flour, which is easily available. And it also has the husks because, you know, they, they uh, grind it along with the husks. So that's much more healthier than rather soaking the natsni and then extracting the juice and then, you know, throwing away the husk. So this is easily available in any general store. Just ask them for ragi flour or natsni and then we're going to use some water. Now here I have a pan, I have a whisk and a long wooden spoon. So let's just begin with today's very simple and very delicious and healthy recipe. So here I'm just going to add a little water at a time and I'm going to make a paste. Now we don't want a very thick paste but it should be a kind of a runny paste. Uh, but little on the thicker side, we don't want it to be very very watery. So two half cup of uh, this natsni flour, I'm going to be adding about three fourth of uh, the cup of water. Whisk it well so that there are no lumps in uh, the paste. Now once we finish whisking with this, the, uh, we're just going to set it aside for about 5 to 10 minutes. We want a very smooth paste. Like this. So it just flows like a very thin dosa batter. Now we are going to add a pinch of salt to, to this natsani paste. Again, stir it in and now keep it aside for about 5 to 10 minutes. Now we're going to add our grated joggery to our coconut milk. And either we're using a spoon or a whisk, we're going to whisk it in. But I uh, like to use my hands. So with my fingers, I can just crush all of the goa joggery into this coconut milk. That is the best way to ensure that all of the joggery is nicely dissolved. Of course, ensure that your hands are clean. Now we did the same thing in the, the doll recipe, if you remember. For those of you who haven't seen my go and the doll recipe, I will leave a link for it below. And I will leave a link for all of the other go and sweet recipes that I have uploaded on my channel. So now I'm going to put my the heat on on the pan on a very low to medium heat and I'm going to add the coconut and joggery mixture to the pan. And now I'm just going to stir the natsani or the ragi uh, mixture as well and add it to the pan. Now we're just going to stir this for about five minutes on a low to medium flame till it becomes into a porridge thick porridge consistency. We don't want to thicken it very much like how it was with the dodol, but we wanted to have a very, you know, a kind of a porridge consistency. Now this tizan is given or tizan is given uh, mostly to people who are, uh, you know, a little bit anemic or uh, who are just getting well or someone who's running a fever and it's also given to small children as well as uh, new moms because this is very rich. Ragi or Natsani is very rich in iron and calcium. So everyone, anyone who's anemic or, you know, if you 
uh, have a deficiency of iron, then you should incorporate natsani or ragi in some form in your diet. I also have a recipe for my natsani bhakri. I will link that also below. You can use, you know, you go and check out that recipe. So these are the natural ways of increasing iron for those of you who have a deficiency of iron. So this is a very, very healthy porridge and uh, even small children are given this because it's easy for them to just swallow it. Of course, you shouldn't have this in a, a, you know too much of it, but in a moderate you know amount is good. So that's uh, our tizon already and you can either have it piping hot or you can serve it chilled if you like it that way. today's recipe as well as today's video and if you would like to see more videos like this then don't forget to leave this video a big thumbs up also by, by clicking the thumbs up icon also don't forget to subscribe to my channel and become a part of Akshita's recipes once you have subscribed there is a small little bell icon that will pop up so just click on that that way whenever I put up a new recipe or a new video you get a message for the same so on that note, I'll say bye and I'll catch you in my next video sooner than you think. This is Akshita saying bye, take care, stay healthy, stay fit, be kind and loving to one another. So till we meet again, bye.